There's a twofold purpose to an erosion control measure. One, to get rid of those excessive flows in a wet year. Two, to reinstate the, the flows in a dry year because that eroded roadway is depriving the areas below it of those soaking follow-up water flows. And so if they're being diverted, an erosion control measure will put those flows back over so it's soaking in and promoting grass. Well, the, the biggest thing with destructing your ball is finding the soil. And in normal parts of situations, we can scrape up windrow soils and put a little wall across the road and that type of thing, little spring buster things that people don't like. But in a worst case scenario, where we've got a badly eroded road or a fence line that's been graded both sides, you're going to need a fair bit of soil. In that case, we'll come back on a longer bank, a diversion bank. Now to install a diversion bank, we need to survey them. And what we're doing there is determining the natural the flow, the natural flow direction. And we think we can do that by eye, but even after all these years, I've still been proven wrong that often. So we need to survey them. And what we do there is survey a condor line, uh, a level line, and water flows at right angles to that condor line. So we su survey that in for a start. That determines that where we're going to build our structure, the water is actually going away. It's not going to turn and come back into the road again. So that then becomes the end of our bank. So all we have to do then is survey the high end of the bank. So we can then dig a hole at the end of that bank use that soil to construct our bank when we know that's going to divert the water off uh, in such a manner that it won't erode and it won't silt up. And that hole then is self-healing and the water will flow back into it so any soils and sediments and leaves and manure, whatever's in the water flows, will go back into that hole so the hole is self-healing given years. Um, so basically dirty water flowing into that hole, clean water flowing out on the natural flow direction going back over the country again. Well, it's a man-made structure, and so every man-made structure requires some form of maintenance, be that the guttering on the house or broken gate engines in the cattle yards. Uh, now, these things, maintenance is no big issue. They've never got to be surveyed again, but maintenance is something that might be carried out once every five years. Uh, what will happen, the outlet from the roadway or the inlet into that hole, grass will get established there. That will trap silt, sands. That sands will therefore enable the grass to get a bit higher. Uh, enough sand and grass will block the water flows, so the water flows will find the path of least resistance, which may be through the centre of the bank or around the wrong end or something like that. So maintenance in this case is just merely a matter of cleaning up, cleaning up the outlet. So if you come along with a tractor and a bit of grass there, you just drop the bucket and push that bit of grass or the loader, just push that little bit of grass and sand out of the way, up and over behind the bank to keep the outlet open. 